What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Dre DeBru Daniels. Welcome to the episode of Brutal Rant. I hope you had yourself a great weekend. My weekend was pretty decent, but uh, we're not here to talk about my weekend. We're talking about this garbage cue, the booze. Yes, 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 yes. We're talking about Young Justice Phantoms, episode 15. We already know it's bad. Let's just try to hit the bullet points and get through this as quickly as as we possibly can all right so the premise of this episode is basically that there's been an ancient prophecy from atlantis's past about a, a great king coming to claim the throne and all this stuff which has never been mentioned ever 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 but i guess they had to throw some nonsense in our face to try to get us invested <clears throat> yeah it didn't work um anyway but this whole premise of the episode was framing um aquaman as this elitist type of king he only cares about Poseidonus and all that stuff like when after the events apparently like a month is a few weeks or whatever has passed since the attack and by um by ocean master and apparently he used his own money to build back Poseidonus, but all the people in the lower city states are like you don't care about us blah 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 and like this is the prophecy of a great king that's gonna stop step up is it's all conjecture it's all nonsense it's weird it i try i don't know i don't know i feel like this joint has just no direction whatsoever and they're just throwing as much crap as they can at us speaking of no direction um the whole thing with cowder's family talking about their struggle and they the come up and how calder's dad was or stepfather however this dynamic works wasn't there for him and it, it's really weird and like like all this and like, like they're trying to convince him like oh just take a day off and you know be be you and of course he's like nah i'm a, I'm, I'm hard i'm a gangster it's very confusing because this doesn't add to his character at all we already know that calder's tough and strong and um believes in his duties and things like that we don't need that reinforced by his parents and it's very strange that they're trying to afford like, like they understand the gravitas of well actually there is no gravitas because there's no story but <laughs> but for the sake of this discussion let's just say that the things that's happening in their world actually matter they know that his job is very important to the king and the kingdom and all that great stuff but they're like hey screw the job and you know it's very strange it's very strange they're very disappointed when he's when he's like hey i gotta take care of this business it's very odd it's very very strange it's very strange but whatever i don't think this is good character development or character building for these characters or calderon i think this is a big old <laughs> fail um whatever moving on speaking of moving on ah the legion oh my god you came here to die okay i mentioned in some of my older videos that i didn't know what the heck the legion of superheroes were doing here and i still don't um this whole bit when they meet up with superman saying hey in 10 years time you have to go and pretend to be superboy because he's dead so i guess there was a pose to save him from dying this whole time because that was the point of going to the past but in, but even though on mars they didn't do anything to interfere with what was going to happen because they can't mess with the time stream what? but at the same time one of the legion members whoever the girl is that's in the phantom zone <laughs> we'll talk about that what did try to save him even though they could have saved him or interfered or spoken to him this whole time and it's like hey don't go in there it'll blow up and you'll die oh my god directionless this show is directionless they have no idea what to do with these characters no idea there's no setup there's no payoff it's just like hey stuff just be entertained by stuff that's happening it, it's not it's not good and I, <laughs> I, I i don't get it i don't get what they're doing with the legion i don't get anything this joint is a waste and and i'm like 
the whole thing like oh superman has to be a happy harbor in 10 years 10 years what why don't and, 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 and even superman asked the right question he's like why don't you just go back to the past but the old they had something else. oh our time machine got destroyed <laughs> wouldn't have that affected the this way you don't do with time travel unless you know what you're doing this is stupid everything they're doing with the legion is stupid everything they do with this episode is absolutely ridiculous and stupid <sighs> moving on uh yeah all right right back to the phantom zone we have superboy carrying whoever that legion girl is through the shadow realm and getting attacked by fish and st i guess it's stupid i'm ah cow buddy oh goodness gracious they have no idea what they're doing with superboy either they have no idea what they have no idea what they're doing they're juggling so much crap so poorly because we don't know why he's still alive we don't know why the girl's alive we don't know what's going on we don't know what's going on. we don't know we don't know anything we don't know anything and it's just a confusing mess but the confusing mess it it gets worse it, it actually gets worse so we're going to talk about this whole scene with um uh, uh lord arian coming back and saving everybody because he's the mass figure and all that stuff and that's cool however this whole sequence is absolute chaos and they showed us that this whole scene all the scenes we've seen before are happening simultaneously with the arc of episodes 9 10 11 12 and 13 when the other team and dr fate is chasing child around so all this is happening at the same time say what So one of the flaming tornado things that if you remember what they look like, if you're smart, you won't remember that trash is burning through Atlantis and uh, Queen Mera and, and uh, uh, Ocean Master. They team up to start shooting a beam at it. And then, of course, we had to put Aquaman in his place. And he's like, what can I do to help? And Mera's like, dude, crowd control. You can't do nothing here. Which, of course, we got to humiliate him publicly. You know, that's that's just that's just part of the course now. Um, and then um, Lord Arian shows up and uses his, you know, powers. And the three laser beams come together and then they destroy the flames. And then everybody's like, it's the prophecy. It's the prophecy. A prophecy that nobody's talking about ever, period. But now, prophecy is the prophecy. The great king is coming back. Yada, 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 yada. It's all just conjecture nonsense. And I'm just like, bruh, this is weird and whack. And and so this whole this whole thing is just like, oh, the great king is coming back and he's like super humble and all that other. I'm like, bruh. Like, this is weird, and it's directionless. They don't know what they're doing. They have no idea what to do with these characters. It's all over the freaking place. And I am tired, Lord. Tired. Tired, 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 tired of this nonsense. G. Willikers. G. Willikers. Whew. But that's all I really got. Um, what did you guys think about this episode 15? Did you think it was a complete waste of time? Oh, of course you did but i would like to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section below um let me know if i missed something that was of importance oh <laughs> well <laughs> importance is a strong term but um importance um yeah so um that's all we got so some housekeeping news good news good news good news trouble the river within part six is out baby yes cheer my children yes 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 so Happy days, happy days. It's available for digital download and print on demand. Um, I would love your support. Um, it helps me keep the lights on up in here. Um, so I really, really appreciate it. those that have checked out already. You guys are awesome. And uh, I really do appreciate you all. Also, if you haven't checked out my other issues, they're also available for digital download and print on demand at spanwins.com and spanwins app. And there'll be links in the description section below. Definitely check those bad boys out. So that's all I got for today. <sighs> Well, to believe I still got a couple of episodes left of this show to go through. Oh, I don't think I'll survive. 
Uh, but anyway, you guys have been uh, tremendous. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the vid. And follow me on those dope social media platforms that you see over there. Um, yeah, that's all we got for today. And um, I'll catch you all next time. Also, if you want to support my channel, uh, check out spinwiz.com or download the Spinwiz app and check out my comic series, Trouble. It was written with a lot of love and it was definitely my favorite comic series to write. I've also written it in English and in Spanish. So whatever floats your boat, I got it for you. Thanks again and check it out.